Hello, Scorpio viewers. So the last day reading I was doing, which was about two weeks ago, I was getting that there was somebody who used you basically. It might have been sexual, it might have been for money. There was something they just, some sort of energy where it's like they just lied to themselves about the kind of connection that you had. Like they, you wanted it to go deeper and it was deeper, but it's like they wouldn't allow it. They wouldn't admit their feelings to themselves. So it's like they had this deep psychic connection with you they had something real right in front of them but they sabotaged it they you know they were in denial about the connection they pushed it away they pretended like it was just sex or like it was just casual but it's like deep down they knew there was something that more there like the guy the way you guys looked at each other the connection you had they they knew that there was something more there but it's like they were just too afraid of it let's see what the cards have to say today about your you know, it could be someone else that I end up channeling, you know, just whatever energy you're in, whatever story, whatever your story is, let's just see what the cards say. But that was the story I got for you guys a couple weeks ago. We got Mercury Retrograde coming up too, which typically brings exes back. Me. Nee. And that's coming up in just a couple weeks. Well, we're going to be on the shadow of it on the 15th, and then... I think the first is when it actually officially starts. Pretty sure. Four of Pentacles reversed. Five of Pentacles reversed. Okay, I think I, I'm going to turn these upright because I think that I accidentally put my cards the wrong way. <laughs> so, Four of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, the Tower, the King of Pentacles, Temperance. Ooh, King of Pentacles is good. You know, this is like a slow moving king, but. It's more stable. It's it's he, he he or she might not come in quite as passionately, but when they do come in, it's like it's more long term stable energy. We got the moon. We got eight of wands, knight of cups, the moon, angel de la nuit, which is basically just um, you know a light after the darkness is what that card means. Three of pentacles, creating something new together. Oh, that is so. Turned around, sorry. There we go. It's a little bit better. I want to say that there's... Let me focus this camera, sorry. I want to say that there's two different people in this reading. Let me see if I can get a clarification on that. Is this, are these, is this one person and this is one person? Is that two different people? Is that two different people? Yeah. Okay, I feel like, oh, sorry, can you even see that? It's like giving me a guess. I'm sorry. Ah! Oh my God, clumsy girl problems over here. I'm sorry. Okay, there we go. We're good. We're good. <laughs> We're all steady. I'm sorry. <laughs> Crap. Okay, there. That didn't happen. We're all good. <laughs> okay, sorry. So two different energies here. I feel like this is the person that I was talking about in the last video, the person that was using you, like they lied to you about the connection, they were in denial about the connection, they they might have been using you financially for sex, it's like they just, they had a deep connection with you, but they tried to make it more shallow, it's like they tried to, it's like they ruined it, they could have cheated on you too, there could have been something where it's like you had this real connection, and they just sabotaged it, like they weren't used to that connection, so they went back to their old toxic ways when things were getting too deep and too real and they like cheated or they pushed you away or they just, it's almost like devil energy, like like toxic kind of energy. Like they they found some way to, to sabotage it. Almost like a victim energy too. Like they sabotaged it and then said, you know, see, this is why everybody leaves me in the end. Like I knew, I knew this wasn't gonna last because it's like maybe they were starting to get really happy with you and they were still in denial and then they just did something some of them might have done something even more intense to screw it up but that that um whatever this is and there might be something with finances to connect to that person whatever it is i feel like you had a tower moment though i think that you're realizing i think you're coming to some some realizations about this person about how toxic this person is or about how this person plays the victim you know i think it's been difficult but i think that you are coming with this tower moment here i think that could be a breakup or something that you went through in the not too not too far off past or just some just some sort of energy with the tower that like things things can't go back to how they were before with this person 
you know, like they, they just, they, you know that now, whatever it was that happened, whether they cheated or they went back to old toxic patterns, um, defense mechanisms, uh, you know, using you for money or sex, whatever. I think there's just something like you came to a realization about them on your own, or maybe something happened like cheating or something that, that made you realize some things that you had them like on a pedestal. And now you're realizing, you know, this actually isn't the person for me. This isn't what I thought it was. And I think that you're now starting to accept that things are not ever going to go back to how they used to be with this person. You're starting to accept that this is toxic, that this is that this needs to be over for you, whatever it is, you know, that if this ex comes back around, you're not going to want it. But I see someone new and this is either someone new or it could be someone that you maybe you had a, a connection with, but maybe it just never um, took off. Like maybe you were dating somebody else or maybe it's like somebody that you have like a soulmate connection with, but maybe, maybe you were with someone else at the time or they were with somebody else or it was just the wrong timing for you guys. And so it couldn't really go anywhere at that time. But maybe this is coming back around for you. Or maybe it's something that you need to go to as well. It could be that you're you're needing, maybe you're the king of pentacles and you're needing to pursue this, this woman or this man. <laughs> um, either way. But it, it's just like this energy of, of, God, how do I explain that energy? It just, it feels like someone that maybe you've known for a while, but like you don't know them, know them. You know what I mean? Like maybe someone that you started talking to, but you guys got distracted, went down different paths, or you you were, so there was something blocking you before, or it's like just that energy, like there's, like you've known this person, known of this person for a while, or you've talked to them in the past, maybe you haven't talked for a long time. And your guides are confirming that this is a soulmate connection. Uh, it could also be someone new. For some of you, it might be someone that you haven't talked to before that's coming in. But I just get for a lot of you that this is actually somebody that you already know, but that you just don't know very well. Um, take it how it resonates. But, but yeah, I think that this person might actually be helping you financially too. I think that there's some sort of... There's something with finances. Like, it's like the opposite of this other person where this person kind of messed you up financially. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> this person kind of messed you up financially in the past, this other person. And this person is actually going to be, like, building something with you. It's like, this is like, like a power couple, like a stable couple. This is, you know, I water you, you water me, that kind of energy where it's like you guys are just equal give and take, you know, just supporting each other, loving each other, like your, your partner in crime, your best friend. Um, it's like I see like a, de a deep friendship that will develop here. Like I feel like this person is maybe someone that you could just talk to for hours and hours. I don't know if you've talked for hours in the past and maybe you only talked a couple times. Or if this is like future energy, I just get like a strong compatibility, like a strong like intellectual compatibility, like spiritual compatibility that you guys could just, you know, talk and open up to each other. Like you guys would just understand each other and that you guys are going to build something together. You're going to be building something new together. This could be business. It could be you guys are going to go into business together. It could be you guys are just going to inspire each other to pursue your hobbies, to pursue your career. It's like they're going to be your rock. You know, you're going to be their rock. Um, you know, just inspiring each other, motivating each other to be the best versions of yourself. Could be traveling with this person as well. But this this is like, this is creativity. This is teamwork. This is this three of pentacles. It's, it's building something together. So, so definitely a business partnership for some of you. I mean, I feel like it'd be romantic, but I feel like, like maybe you guys would... I feel like you guys would like share ideas and you guys would like just you, you would just understand each other like they would listen to you you would listen to them like it would just you guys would just resonate with each other on this really deep beautiful level with this king of pentacles I feel like they might be financially helping you too like they might this king or queen of pentacles whatever the energy is male or female I feel like they, they might be like this could be like paying rent together or there's just something where it's like this other person 
maybe messed you up financially or it could be like emotional poverty like they just drained you like a psychic vampire whereas with this new person it's going to be the exact opposite it's like they're going to be giving to you it's going to be equal give and take and part of that giving might be financial it's like they might be helping financially support you but like i said that might be like living together or might be like sharing car payments when you if you guys move in together or you know, something where it's like they're at the very, they're not taking money from you. They might actually be giving you money. And I feel like it might start out slow when it does come in with temperance here. Because remember, the, the king of pentacles, it's like, it's a slow moving king. Like this is someone who's kind of, they're, they're grounded. They're, they're logical. They're practical. They're, you know, they're strong. They're wise. Um, but it's like they're loyal and they're stable. They've got it's a it's a good energy and it's it's not as fast moving as maybe the King of Cups or the King of Wands, but it's like when it does come in, it's it's more it's more it's longer lasting. It's it's more stable. It's more thought out. It's more balanced. You know, with this Temperance card, it's not just like oh my God, I've been thinking about you forever. Like I need to see you right now. It's kind of just like how have you been? Like what's going on it's been a while like do you want to do you want to have some coffee you know just kind of starting off slow just balance just making sure this person might be making sure too that this ex is out of the picture if this was like a situation they might be making sure that they're really free of this person and that they're really done with this person they might still be accepting that this is over before they come in but they are thinking about coming in here i do feel that and I feel like once you really get moving, like I feel like it's going to have a slow start, but I think once you guys really get moving and start getting to know each other, it's going to move faster and faster with the eight of wands and knight of cups that do together, you know, look at this. This is, this is fast moving energy. That's, that's what that tells me. It's like someone pursuing their heart, someone coming forward. It's like a passionate, emotional connection, but also stable and loyal and grounded at the same time. Um, and, and intuitive too. I feel like there's a spiritual connection here too. I feel like, I feel like you're spiritual. They might also be spiritual or at the very least, they're going to accept this about you. Like you might be into witchcraft or spirituality or, or, you know, whatever else. And I feel like they're going to, um, they're going to accept, like, they're going to understand this about you. Like they're going to resonate with that. They're going to be turned on by it. They're going to to like that energy about you. Like it's it's gonna feel right for them, even if it's not something that they practice themselves. Like it's still gonna be something that they love about you at least, you know. And for some of you, they might actually be spiritual and be psychic themselves, because there is a deep connection here. So I I wouldn't be surprised if there is like a psychic connection here between you two as well. And yeah, and we have you know building something new together here. It's it's a beautiful energy. It's a beautiful energy here. Yeah, out of stagnation, four of cups, you know, it, it's it's turned around. So that boredom, that that stagnation, that, you know, confusion, that person is coming out of this confusion and, you know, figuring out what they want. Coming out, oh my God, do I keep turning my cards around? I'm so tired of turning my cards around the wrong way. Is this the right way? Okay, good. Clumsy girl problems, I swear. But 10 of wands reversed. Um, I'll take that last one reverse, I guess. Ten of Wands, it's like, yeah, they're, they're letting go of this pressure that whatever this connection was, either this could be them letting go of it and they're wanna, they want to make sure this karmic is out before they come forward and make you a love offer. They want to make sure they make you a stable offer, something that's something they something that they thought about, you know what I mean? And maybe just asking you to go to coffee or something kind of subtle. Like they want to get to know you better. And, you know, they want to make sure this is out first. Or this could also be you. This could be your energy, this this toxic person that hurt you. And now this is this new person that's that's just come in or coming in. Ooh, the lovers and the page of cups. That's a good energy. That's a really good energy. Page of cups, that's like a love message coming in here. Ooh, this is a sexy energy. Hangman, letting go, new perspective. New perspective. Knight of Pentacles again. It's, an, it's it's a stable, loyal, practical knight, but he is this person. He or she is coming forward. They or they wanted to come forward at least. 
like I said, they want to make sure that that other ship has sailed away first. They're still, they might be still in a little bit of pain. They might have just gone through a breakup. Maybe they just want to make sure that's over, that they've healed from that before they come in. You know, they're kind of just finding themselves and gathering their strength. But I think that you, you are on their mind, you know. I think that you are on their mind. King of Cups, yeah, yeah. We got some good energy here. This is this is true love here, I feel. This is this is true love. This is a really good connection. This is like a really it's a stable connection. It's it's a, it's a loyal connection. I think this person would be loyal to you. This person would understand you. This is like a best friend type of connection where you guys can just talk and talk for hours where you just you understand each other. You're both spiritual. You can bounce ideas off each other. You motivate each other. You bring out the best in each other. It's, it's a really good energy here. But again, this person either needs to get past this karmic ex or you need to get past a heartbreak that you've been through. There's something there, this final block that, that one, or, one or both of you is getting through right now before this um, can come in. But it's wanting to come in. This person, this king or queen of pentacles is wanting to come in. So if this resonates, um, I do private readings. My contact info is below my email address. I have some specials for January going on as well. Um, and any donations are appreciated, even just a dollar. It really adds up so quickly. And if it resonates, please subscribe to me. Thanks for watching.